what's new at the drugstore haul video for you guys and I've been picking things up here and there from the new summer and maybe fall collections I actually really don't know what season they're for but I've been picking up some new things from all the drugstore brands and I've tried out most of them so I can give you like my two cents on them um, but yeah I'm really excited about this video I have some really awesome products in here and let's just get started so I can show you guys yeah. so the first things I picked up are the new Superstay Better Skin Foundation and Concealer from Maybelline and these basically claim to improve your skin over time so with like redness and dark spots and all those imperfections that you might not really like having on your face this is supposed to improve it over about like three weeks of consistent wear I don't know about all that but I did use it for the first time today and I don't really know how I feel about it um, I think I might have applied it in not the best format so I'm gonna mess around with these a little bit more and see what I think I don't think I'm gonna be doing a first impressions though because since it's supposed to like better your skin over time you know you can't really see that in a first impression so if I like it I'll put it in my favorites video for the month but we shall see sticking with face products the next thing I got is a new blush from the brand Neutrogena and it's one of their healthy skin blushes in the shade vibrant number 20 and off the bat the first thing I noticed about this is the packaging and I really don't like it it's super super unnecessarily bulky and it's also a little bit hard to get into I always feel like I'm about to like break my nail or chip my nail polish when I'm opening this but the product inside is actually really really good I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks and this is a super 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 pigmented blush which you don't find very often in the drugstore so I'm really excited I picked this up and I definitely want to get a couple more colors just because they are really really good and the price is really good too yeah. let's move on to eye products the first thing I got is a new brow product of all things it's by Rimmel London and it's their new brow this way brow sculpting kit and I've never had any brow stuff from Rimmel London before but they also had this they had a gel I feel like they had a pencil too in the little display let's just open this so I can actually show you you know what the product looks like and not just the packaging so this is what the product itself looks like it's very very small and compact which I like and basically all it comes with is a little mini spoolie brush and a dual ended angled brush for the powder and stuff and then it comes with a matte brown powder and then a brown gel to hold everything in place and I'm really excited to try this because I've never actually tried anything like this before so it's really cool and I believe it was like five or six bucks which is not bad I picked up two new mascaras the first one is the one I actually used today and it's the Rimmel London lift me up wonder lash mascara and this stuff actually smells like cucumbers which is really really nice and I like it because it's very light on my lashes um, the brush is really really big so if you're not into giant brushes you might not like this but I just really like the smell and usually I don't like the smell of cucumber that much but it smells really good and that's kind of a weird thing to say about mascara because usually they don't smell that great but this one does and I feel like it's just a really good light thing to put on your lashes if you're going for an everyday casual kind of look and then the other mascara I got is the new CoverGirl the Super Sizer Mascara and I've been using this for a couple days now and I do really like it I really like it for my bottom lash line just because the brush is a little weird it's one of the plastic brushes but it has little teeny tiny like bristles so you can really grab all those teeny tiny lashes on your bottom lash line and on like the inner corners and stuff and it stays put all day so I'm really a good fan of this I'm a good fan yeah. Along with that, I picked up two new liquid liners, and the first one is the CoverGirl Intensify Me liquid liner, and it actually came in a kit with the uh, mascara, so that was really exciting. Um, but this is an interesting, very, very interesting liner. Now, this liner has some pros and some cons. The biggest con to me, which is a pretty big con, is the applicator is so weird. It's like a little rounded paddle instead of a point, so... In theory, you can use the like thin side to do a thin line or you can make it thicker and more dramatic. But I feel like it's just kind of hard to work with because it doesn't have any give. But what I do really like about it is the blackness of this. It is so, so intensely black. Like I wish every liquid liner was this black. And I never really noticed the difference between like one black and another. But this one is definitely way blacker than like your average black liner. 
Trust me. Just trust me. And the other liquid liner I got is the one from Maybelline, and it is the Master Precise by Eye Studio. And I got the black shade because I like black liner. Um, I clearly haven't tried this because it's still in the packaging, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it on YouTube, and I figured. Why not? Because I'm currently on the hunt for a dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner because that's the best liner ever. So maybe this is it. Let's move on to lip products. So the first thing and probably one of the most exciting things I picked up is the new Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio. And I have the one in Berry Misbehaved, which is obviously a berry shade. And I am in love with this product. It is amazing just like the lip product itself not really the blurring technology because I'm not skilled enough to do all that. This lipstick is completely matte and it stays on literally all day. Last week when I bought this on Monday, I wore it to work, which was about three or four hours for the shift. And then I went to dinner with my grandparents and we got Chick-fil-A, which is very greasy, and it didn't budge. This has been Chick-fil-A tested and Chick-fil-A approved, let me tell you. And then I kept it on for the rest of the night and it stayed on basically perfectly until I took it off at like nine o'clock at night. It's not the most comfortable matte I've used, but I mean it stayed on all day, so I can't really complain. Next I picked up another one of the Almay Butter Kiss lipsticks, and I got the shade Red Light, and if you don't know anything about this collection, it basically breaks the colors down into like a light skin tone, a medium skin tone, and a dark skin tone, and then there's a berry, a pink, and a red, and I think like a neutral shade for each skin tone. And obviously you don't have to stick to the shades that are in your skin tone. You can pick whatever you want, whatever you think will look best on you. But I thought this red shade was really pretty for summertime because it's kind of lighter and kind of reminds me of like a cherry red or like a watermelon red. And the formulation of this lipstick gives you a nice like light wash of color. So I feel like this would just be perfect for like an everyday summertime red. Um, so we'll see if I like it. And the last lipstick I got is one of the new Rimmel London Kate Moss lipsticks from their Bohemian collection and this one's in the color 31 and this is such a pretty red it's kind of like a berry red but more of a purpley berry but it still definitely is a red um, it's showing up a little bit more red on camera but it's super super pretty and I absolutely love the formulation of these lipsticks and lastly, I picked up one new hair product, and it's by Pantene, and it's their dry shampoo. And I've recently heard really, really good things about this, and I've been wanting a new dry shampoo that's like a spray one. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I really like the powder ones, like the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder, um, just because those work really well when you're really, really really greasy hair, which I tend to have, but on those days where your hair is just looking a little flat, some spray and dry shampoo will definitely help give some volume, and I've just been wanting some, and I've never tried this kind before, and it was pretty cheap. It was like five bucks. Um, which I think is fine. So we'll see if I like this. And that's everything I purchased at the drugstore recently. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up so I know that you want to see more of these what's new at the drugstore videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stick around. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and I'm very consistent with that. And I'd also love to have you. But that is everything. And don't forget to check out my social media links down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye y'all.